because she doesn't trust you, Craig. She thought that you would take a bad situation and make it worse. She has no faith in you. So, you tried to take my, my wife, my son, and now... I'm not taking anything away from you, Craig. The reason you've lost everything you have is because you never deserved it. You don't deserve Roseanne after what you've done, and you were never a worthy parent to Cabot. And now Lucy is starting to figure out that she deserves better, too. Ryan? You look camera ready to me, Barbara. Let's get you mic'd up. Oh, and Jennifer, you too. Just in case your mom decides to pull you into the mix. So, are you ready to tell the world about your climb back to the top? <laughs> I can't wait. You're making a scene, Snyder. And you were too busy running around out there covering your tracks with Rosanna to even notice. My family is not what your family, business. Craig? You don't have a family. Cabot was never yours. Rosanna's left you. I'm not going to lose Lucy. How do you know that? Do you know what she thinks? You don't know what she thinks. How would you know that? If I were you, I'd be thinking about leaving this house right now. Daddy. If anybody is leaving, it's you. See, why didn't you tell me what happened to you? Are you right? Did you see a doctor? Huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. But I told your dad about the run-in that you had with Clark. Lucy, Lucy, why didn't you come to me? Did he tell you not to? No, huh? of course not. Paul wanted me to tell you. When did this happen? We were home together just the other night. You're still in shock about Cabot and Rosanna. I didn't want to add to it. I'm your father. I help you. It's just it, Dad. I don't want your help. You make things worse. Well, uh, if, uh, if you're okay, I'm going to take off. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks for everything. Mm -hmm. I'll call you. Anytime. Lucy, you do not trust Paul Ryan, all right? I don't agree. Neither does Rosanna. Foes, hmm. okay, went to Canada, talked to Annabelle Fettel, came back and chewed my head off. Yeah, he tracked me down, too. Um, you know what? Uh, just stay there. We'll, 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 we'll talk about this later. I got things to do. Yeah, I'm getting another call. Just wait for me right there. Paul Ryan. Hello, Paul Ryan. This is your mother. Where are you? The interview's about to start. Are you coming? Um, sure. Yeah, no, I'm coming. I just, there's something I gotta take care of first. Darling, this is live. We're about to start. So start? You don't need me there. It's all about you anyway. Well, hurry, won't you? You know I can't do this without you. You're my biggest fan. Aw. I'm hurrying, Mother. But you're not gonna like where I'm headed to. You don't want to be our home. You want your name on the door. Sure. As far as the press is concerned, I'm a one-trick pony, Jack. My show in New York, that was great, but my show last spring, that demolished me. And why was that? Because you were mixed up with BRO. No, because I was mixed up with Craig. This is different. Paul... Paul is using you. As a designer, our connection is completely professional. Is that right? Then where's the contract? Carly, where, where's the press conference, the letterhead, the office, the respect, darling? I'm not going to give him one single design until I have a contract. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, no, that's the least of it. Jack, I need his help. I cannot build a company from the ground up all I'm by not, myself. Why not? Barbara did? I'm not Barbara. Yeah, that's right. You're a million times more talented. Maybe. But I don't want to sacrifice the other areas of my life for my career. I have a family that needs me, Jack. I have two children that, that, that need me. I have a husband I don't want to neglect. And that leaves me with just enough juice to design a new line. Yes, it's a risk. It's all a risk, isn't it? Parker was a risk. And Sage was a risk. We were a risk. And look how that turned out. Fight fair, Carly. I'm just trying to make a point. No, you're just trying to get your own way. Yes, I am. I want this. And I want to have you on my side. But if, if you can't get yourself to support me, then we are just going to have to agree to disagree. So you're going to do this no matter what I say? Yes. 
Okay, then. Where are you going? To do something I should have done a long time ago. Jack, don't you ruin this for me. Faith and trust, Carly. Faith and trust. Turned him in, Paul, because he spoke to Animal Federal in Canada, who says the Mountie's got a tip from a man in Oakdale. Well, why would he come to you? To confirm that I'm the one who told you. But I'm not going to lie for you. I told you that. No, no, no. I know. I, you said that, but all right. Look, he can't prove anything, and and then, well, let's not forget that Craig is the one to blame here. All right? He's the one who adopted a baby, knowing that the whole thing was illegal. I'm not complaining or anything, but if it's really no big deal, then why'd you tell me to wait here? Oh, because I wanted to talk to you. You want a drink? That depends. What do you want to talk about? Well, you and Craig are partners, right? You see him every day? <laughs> he shows up when it's convenient for him. Like, we're having an event that he wants to go to. He shows up for a little while and leaves early. Still, you, you two share an interest. I guess. Well, he's a little angry at me these days. <laughs> yeah, he helped <laughs> drive off his wife. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, but in any event, uh, if I know Craig, he's going to nurse a grudge. I'm not going to spy for you. I'm not asking you to. I'm only... I want to make sure that, that I can count on you, that... Molly, are we friends? What? Enemies? Well, I, I hope not. I'm... Craig's a loose cannon, and you never know where his next shot's gonna go, and... I think it's safe to assume that if he gets aggravated, he's gonna shoot at me, so all I'm asking is if you could let me know when that's gonna happen, so I can... so... I can duck. <laughs> You know that I would do the same for you. I guess I wouldn't mind having somebody on my side again. Excellent. To friendship. Yeah. Well, I'd be careful if I were you, Molly. One minute this guy's calling you his friend, the next minute he's voting you off the island. Hi, Jack. <sighs> you want a drink, or are you here on business? We need to talk. I guess we'll finish this conversation some other time. Okay. Sorry. No, no problem. Have fun, boy. Come on in. I know that you're going after your mother, Paul, and that's your privilege. But I'm not about to let you use my wife's ammunition. And I don't want to shut her down, so you tell me. What's the answer? Agree to come on and oversee a new teen line, which I want to call. Yes, it was her idea. <laughs> I, of course, wanted to call it Barbara Teen Originals. Right. And you might... But you knew that all the teenagers of the world would run <laughs> screaming into the night. Congratulations. It's a brilliant comeback. Oh, thank you so much. BRO has really taken a left turn since you've come on board. And that's not just this woman's opinion. Women's Wear Daily, Vogue, W, the opinion is unanimous. Carly Tenney Snyder is the hottest thing since hot pink. Thank you. I, um, I really wanted to take a BRO in a new direction. Uh, Lucy, I, I want teenage girls to feel modern and free. Not to name names, but the old regime. You were really looking backwards. Um, the last thing a teenage girl wants is to look like her mother. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> And it's not just the teenage girls who are raving. All of our customers love Carly. Oh. BRO is more profitable than ever. And I don't know how she does it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Top designer, loving wife, and the world's best mom all rolled into one. <laughs> Our family has just suffered a great tragedy. Your family? That's why it's so Excuse me? My son Paul and my daughter Jennifer are oh. with me to help me launch this new campaign. Oh, my God. Because that's the real story. We have suffered a great deal. <gasps> and now we have a triumph. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to see the nerve to go on my television tragedy. station and try and promote yourself? Right Absolutely story. not. Coming up on expect to see all these fabulous new clothes in the stores. The collection should arrive early spring. Yes, yes. Hear that, girl? Summer's coming and you want to catch the first big wave. <laughs> and you should wait to see if we have plans oh, for fall. It's okay. I'm a WA. Oh, okay. No, really. It's okay. It's okay. Fashion. Um, I need you to keep rolling right now.